What's going on guys, it's the Bag of Tricks here. Welcome back to another video. I've just started to go through my stuff to bring with me on my upcoming ski trip to Utah and figured I'd make a video to go over how I pack and get myself prepared for ski trips like the one I'm about to go on. Going on a ski trip with flying involved can be pretty daunting for the first time just because of how much extra gear and stuff you have to bring with you compared to a normal trip. So I wanted to break down how I go about getting myself and my bags ready for a trip to hopefully Hopefully take a little bit of stress off of you guys because traveling is stressful enough as it is. Now before we even think about what gear to bring, how we're going to bring that gear, how we're going to pack that gear, how we're going to survive the TSA check, we need to talk about something probably even more important than getting the right gear and that is how to prepare yourself for a ski trip. There's two steps to preparing for a ski trip. Number one, getting yourself prepared. Number two, getting all of your gear and everything you're going to need to ski prepared. So when I say prepare yourself, what I mean is prepare yourself physically. Even if we pack everything we need, even if we go through the airport and there is not a single issue all the way up until we hit the slopes. If you don't prepare yourself physically, you can easily ruin a ski trip in the first half day of skiing. For anyone that isn't regularly skiing bigger mountains or they're not skiing three to four days a week or they're just not keeping themselves in top physical condition year round, suddenly throwing yourself into the fire and skiing big mountains for entire days, maybe three four days in a week can be a shock to the body and it can be exhausting to the point of ruining the fun and we don't want to ruin the fun we want to enjoy the mountains we want to enjoy the views we want to enjoy the amazing trails that these mountains give us but if all we're thinking about is how much pain our legs are in or how hot and sweaty and gross we are because we're so freaking tired and that's not what we want so there are a ton of different ski focused workouts out there that I, I'm not going to be diving into them in this video though I will be making videos throughout this summer about ski workouts with my brother Nick aka skiing physical therapy check him out on Instagram he has a ton of great reels and posts there so make sure to subscribe to see those videos they will be coming out in the off season personally I have always leaned towards just simply interval training on stationary bikes to get me ready for a trip as quickly as possible and I've been lucky enough to be sent the Ye Soul G1 Max Elephant bike to try out and get me ready for this upcoming trip to Utah this bike was super easy to set up and I was riding it within an hour or two of its arrival even though it came in a million different pieces. It comes with Yeso's app that links to the TV to provide you with workouts guided by coaches making it a breeze for even the most inexperienced stationary bike user to get in solid workouts right away because I know it can be tough to hop on a bike and know what to do so these, these guided coached workouts are really really awesome. You can also swivel the screen around to do guided yoga which have coaches as well if that's more more your cup of tea. Honestly guys, this thing has way more resistance than I thought. It's way more difficult than I thought and it's truly gassed me in every workout I've done so far. The build quality feels great. There's a ton of awesome fitness tracking features built into the app to show your progress as well as to keep you coming back for more. And it really has given me everything I needed to prepare my legs for big mountain runs that I face out west. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, you can use code TRICKS to get 10% off and the link is down below in the description. So bike or no bike, yay soul, no yay soul. Try to ground out workouts for at least a month leading up to your ski trip to get your legs and get your body ready no matter what exercises you decide on doing. All right, so step number one, physically prepare yourself for the trip. Step number two, how are we gonna pack? How are we gonna get all this gear into our bags? So the first thing we need to do is make sure we have the right bags. And for any ski trip, you are definitely, definitely, definitely going to need a ski bag and a boot bag or a combined ski and boot bag. They make bags that hold both your skis and your boots. They're a little bit bigger. Usually they got the roller wheels. I need to get me one of those because those look amazing. Most airlines, and I say most because not all airlines do this, but most airlines will consider your ski bag and your boot bag, if they're separate like my setup is, as one bag, one checked bag. So that's really awesome. And then from there, you'll have to decide how many additional bags you wanna bring, whether that's more checked bags, suitcases, carry-ons, that's all up to you. Uh, for the most part, the additional 
personal bags always comes down to the airline that I am flying, what their baggage policy is, and how much I'm willing to pay for that trip. So for example, Southwest gives you two free checked bags. So for me, my ski bag and my boot bag, that's one checked bag. And then when I'm flying Southwest, I'm able to bring a full size suitcase as my second checked bag. But if I'm flying on an airline that maybe only gives you one free check bag or no free check bags, what I'll usually do to save money is just check my skis and boot bag as one bag. And then generally I'll take a carry on in that case and just try to jam as much as I can into that carry on. Since these other bags, your, your suitcases, your carry ons, your backpacks, since that's going to vary so much, I'm not going to cover that in this video. Um, all I'm going to be covering is what I put in my ski and boot bag and how I pack my ski and boot bag. All right, so in my ski and boot bag, I pack everything that I need for a day of skiing. For some people, this may differ. Like you guys might have different gear that you wear in a day of skiing than me. So I'm going to break down my full list of gear right now that I wear in a day of skiing. So my gear list includes ski socks, base layer pants, a base layer long sleeve, shorts or sweatpants to go over those base layer pants, multiple thermal layers to go over my base shirt, a heavy duty ski sweater that goes on top of all of my layers. Now I might not wear all of this stuff every single time I go ski every single day. It all depends on how cold it is, how warm it is, how many layers I'm going to have, but I do bring it all just in case. I also have my neck gaiter or balaclava, whatever you want to call it, beanie, mittens, goggles with both low light and daylight lenses, my helmet, snow pants, boots, skis, and poles. So that's all of the gear that I have and I need for a day of skiing. And that's all of the stuff that is going to go into both my ski bag and my boot bag. So how do I fit them all in? What goes in which bag? Let's break that down and we'll start with the boot bag. So my boots obviously go in the side pockets. If you want to bring an extra thermal layer or extra socks, you can roll them up and put them in your boots and then put your boots in the side pockets just for some extra space there. Next, I flip my helmet upside down and I'm going to put my balaclava, my mittens, my beanie and my goggle case in my helmet and this goes into the main compartment of my boot bag with the top of the helmet facing down so that frees up a lot of space above the helmet what i'm going to do is roll up my ski pants as tight as i possibly can and then push those over on top of my helmet and press everything down and zip it all up now generally there's a lot of space around my helmet in between my pants and my helmet what i'll usually do is put my toiletry bag and maybe some extra camera gear in here especially especially when i'm only checking my ski and boot bag. I use my boot bag for a lot of extra storage as long as I can keep the weight down below the checked bag weight limit, whatever that may be. That's really it for the boot bag. So now let's talk about the ski bag. So first of all, my skis are going in first and I'm putting them on their side. Next comes my poles and I'm sliding them in to the side of my skis or kind of on top of my skis. However, I can really fit them in. I'm not, I'm never really too worried about my poles. Um, and now you can see that there is actually a channel between my skis and the wall of the bag. And this is where all of my socks, base layers, thermal layers, my sweater will go, um, my shorts, my sweatpants, all of those kind of thin layers that I wear during a day of skiing, I'll put in that channel. And to make them fit, I simply roll them up and slide them into that channel, as you can see here. And you can do this with as many pieces of clothing as you want, including like day-to-day -day clothes, as long as you can zip the bag and stay under that weight limit. You can also use the channel on both sides of the skis as well. And the nice thing about this is if you have clothes alongside both sides, sides of your skis in that channel that's actually going to act as additional padding for when you know that guy who's loading up the ski bags just chucks your skis into the into the plane with no regard for what's inside so having that extra padding to protect your skis a little bit more is also really really nice and and that's it guys I mean it's not anything magical I will say figuring out how to put my skis on the side and then roll up close and kind of fill in the gaps of that bag really really helped me on my first trip and helps me on every single trip I go on so the the final thing I do before I leave for the airport, obviously, is I use a luggage scale and you can get these at Target, Walmart, pretty much anywhere. Um, and I hook it onto both bags, lift them both up and make sure that those two bags combined, because remember they count as one checked bag, they gotta weigh under that checked bag weight limit for whatever airline you're doing. As long as we're under, we're all good and we're ready to fly. So that is how I go about packing everything. Now, usually I have a backpack, camera gear, other checked bags, like I said, but this is how I get all of my ski gear packed and ready for big trips hopefully something in here helps you if you have any other questions for me because i've been on numerous trips where i've flown at this point leave them down below in the comments and i will get to them ski trips can be stressful 
Try not to stress too much. It's really not that crazy. It's really not that complicated. After the first one, you'll figure it out and you'll be feeling good for the future. I hope this helped, guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace.